Welcome back to Modern Salon TV. I'm TJ Hughes. And I'm Trevor Deneen. Last episode, we learned how to do a dimensional fringe in less than 60 seconds. Brought you highlights from Fashion Week in New York. And singled out our favorite hairstyles from this year's Emmys. Click on Modern's video library to watch the episode again. On this episode, Newspaper Nails, we bring you the how-to. Color and style with Redkin artist Leah Freeman. And Artist Session 8, Modern is on scene with a sold out crowd. When Modern posted about newspaper nails online, our Facebook fans went wild. You love the technique so much, Modern editor Allison Shipley decided to break down the how-to. Here she is with a step-by-step. -step. To get the trendy newspaper nail effect, begin with a base coat. Then apply two coats of nail polish. A lighter color works best to get the full effect. Once your nails are dry, prepare a bowl of alcohol in a small dish. Then, find type on a newspaper or magazine you like. We chose an old issue of Modern Salon. Then, cut 10 small strips out of the paper that are big enough to cover your nails. Soak all the strips in the alcohol until saturated. One by one, apply the strip to your nail, holding the paper as though you were applying a fake tattoo. Remember, if you press it on too long, the polish will stick to the paper. Roll your finger as you pull the newspaper off the nail. The text sticks to the polish. Apply a top coat and you're done! Try out the newspaper nail effect on yourself and your clients. Then post your results on Facebook.com slash Modern Salon. In its latest issue, Modern Salon showcases the works of the gifted Leah Freeman. In studio, the artist crafted beauty, color and style using Redkin's Shades EQ. Here's the behind the scenes look. I'm here to share with you a hot tip on how to do a better color saturation. So first thing we want to do is we want to take a very fine section. If we take a finer section, our saturation is going to be a lot better and definitely better coverage. We are also using a foiling board. Now this technique you can use with the foiling board or with your hands. We're going to place the foiling board underneath the strand, choosing our colors of choice, applying it to our regrowth area. So here's a good hot tip. Take your brush and go into backwards and forwards motion, so that way you're getting color saturation on the top and the bottom of the strand. You'll notice that your control is better, you're less sloppy, and you'll use a lot less product. Go ahead and pull that board straight out. Again, if you don't want to use a folding board, your hands are a great alternative too. But the cool thing about using the folding board is, is your saturation and your hands will be a lot cleaner. What do you get when you give salon professionals a chance to up their profile through photo work? A sold out artist session eight, that's what. Here's Modern's Maggie Mulhern to recap the two-day event that drew in 14 talented hairdressers from around North America. Hey everyone, it's Maggie here. We just wrapped up Artist Session 8, another fantastic artist session. Two days of great education, great fun, and a photo shoot. Yesterday was amazing. Jane Morehouse spoke on public relations, and then we had superstars Kevin Ryan and Frank Raziri of Our Session Tools come in to teach how to use their tools and how to do session work. Those guys are pretty special. They've done session work around the world, covers, fashion week, everything fabulous, and they told everyone the behind the scenes real stuff that goes on at shoots. We had an amazing casting, about 80 models, top, top girls showed up for our artists to select. Today, shoot day, what can I say? It doesn't get better than this. 14 looks, 14 great models. We just did great, great work. I can't wait to tell you all the highlights, and then we're going to wrap it up by telling you what artists' favorite moments are from Artist Session. We're asking everyone, why, what is it that you love about Artist Session? Well, I have to say, uh, I think I'm addicted to this energy and uh, just the inspiration that everyone sort of unleashes at Art Artist Session. My favorite part of it all is working this, with these incredible, amazing, passionate hairdressers. My favorite thing about Artist Session was my beautiful and sweet model, Laura. My favorite thing about Artist Session is being able to work with top uh, makeup people, photographers, and models in such a great, great environment in New York City in a great studio at a fraction of the price. My favorite thing about um, Artist Session is working with real pros like Roberto and David. Rock stars. Rock stars. It brings together the loveliest ladies on a world stage. The 2011 Miss Universe pageant knows how to capture beauty in every sense of the word. Here's a rundown of the event's most winning looks. 
Angola, Layla Miss Angola was selected as this year's Miss Universe, but she wasn't the only winner at the 60th annual pageant. Four runners up, Miss China, Miss Philippines, Miss Brazil, and Miss Ukraine, also got a nod from the judges for their exotic beauty. Miss China, who won fourth runner up, showed off glossy cascading curls and a bold red lip that matched the color of her gown. Third runner-up, Miss Philippines, wore layered locks with lots of volume, while her sparkly gown and jewelry upped the glam factor. Miss Brazil, the hometown favorite and second runner-up, went out on a limb with her canary yellow dress, but played her hair safe with soft, loose waves. Like the other finalists, first runner-up, Miss Ukraine, wore her shiny brunette hair down, but her strong brows and big lashes were standouts. Breaking the mold was our winner, Miss Angola, with her chic updo, which no other finalist wore. Combined with her incredible poise, the Miss Universe crown was hers to be had. Who was your favorite look? Make sure to tell us at facebook.com slash modern salon. Thanks for tuning in. Soon, you might be featured on Modern Salon TV. Stay tuned for details on the new feature that makes you the star. For now, here's a look at some of your favorite industry faces. Hi there, I'm George Ortiz, and you're watching Modern Salon TV. Hi, my name's Nick Arojo, and you're watching Modern Salon TV. Hi, my name is Tom Harrison, and we're watching Modern Salon TV.